because you know how to make what is unseen to become seen. If you don't, you'll always be deceived and you'll stay in that cycle. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Goes the funny clown. I used to sing that to my daughter. <laughs> but you'd be a funny clown. You'd be used by the devil, all attached. You know, like those Muppet things or whatever they are. Whatever they are. <laughs> Hallelujah. And all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. So no, you know what? Then you got authority. Because he's delegated authority to us. He says, go therefore, make disciples of nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to observe all things that I commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. We have delegated authority by knowing him in Matthew 16. I mean, Mark 16. Mark 16. Delegated authority by knowing him. In verse 15. Would you read it please? And he said to them what? Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And he who believes. What's the word believe mean? Follow. To follow. And if you follow, it means because you what? Know him. And he who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be what? Condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe or those who know him. What does it say? In my name they're what? They'll cast out demons. Hallelujah. Well, the first place you need to get rid of them is in you. And they will speak with new tongues. That means you get baptized in the Holy Ghost and you speak directly to your father. Of course, there are many critics. Well, I don't understand it. Well, get baptized in the Holy Ghost and you don't have to have anything to worry about, man. Hallelujah. It's amazing how the spirit of fear comes upon people. Man, they got no fear to go in a bar. They got no fear to go into places to get dope. They got no fear to do strange things, to get money. But yet, when it comes to the things of the Spirit of God, they got fear. Because it's the spirit of fear that prevents an individual from knowing God. And they will cast out de demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Wow. Why? Because they have a delegated authority. Amen? Is everybody okay? So th then after the Lord had spoken to them, he re was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word through the accompanied signs. Delegated authority by knowing him. Go to Ephesians 4. It is a time to know him, for there is testing of knowing him. Now, the testing is for you to know whether you know him or not. Amen? He knows whether you do or not. Ephesians chapter 4. You know, we are in critical times right now. There's all kinds of stuff going on out there. I say out there because I don't live out there. I'm not a part of the world anymore, even though I live in it. And you're not supposed to be either. And you as a friend of the world is an enemy of God. In Ephesians 4 and verse 20, what does it say? But you have not so what? Learn Christ. In other words, you don't know him. If indeed you have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus, that you what? Put off concerning your former conduct. Wow. The old man which grows corrupt 
according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the mind and the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the, the new man, which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, putting away lying, let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. They've not learned him. They've not known him. Again, you may hear about him, meet him, but never know him. Amen? You know, he said, be renewed in the spirit of your mind is to become mature in wisdom and character. To become mature in wisdom and character. There are those who've hung around the church for a gazillion years and still remain big jerks. They still remain idiots. And an idiot is an individual who is spiritually blind. So don't be offended. Hello? And they, um, <laughs> they're always individuals whose feelings are hurt. They feel of rejection and they're easily offended. They have to be treated like babies. And they have missed the whole point of Christianity. Are you listening? You know anybody like that? Don't point them out. <laughs> Pray for them right now. Hello? Proverbs 13. These are those who have been hanging around the churches and they still remain like big jerks and idiots. With their feelings, they're always easily hurt, feeling rejected and offended and everything. People get offended at the pastor, what he preaches. And they have to be treated like babies and they've missed the whole point of Christianity. You know, you must have a desire to want to change. If you don't want to change, you'll still stay miserable. Proverbs 13. Oh, glory. Let's start at verse 9. The light of the righteous rejoices, and the lamp of the wicked will be put out. 10. By pride comes nothing but strife. But with the well advises wisdom. 11. Wealth gained by dishonesty will be diminished. But he who gathers by labor will what? Increase. Go to verse 20. He who walks with wise men will be what? Wise. But the companion of fools will be what? Will be destroyed. You know, I got to share something with you, which is important. You know, God trains us up to reign. Amen? You know how he trains us up? He puts us in a place where we must be disciplined under authority. Where you are placed under authority, where you are disciplined under authority. Where you are now accountable to authority. It's amazing how many believers want to be a lone ranger. And their lone rangerness brings trouble, torment, and they don't mature because they can never grow. Because if you're not under authority for discipline, you have no authority. Amen? Well, you and I are being trained to reign. People want to jump from the first stair to the second stair. They want to drive through Jesus. It don't work that way. You must go through Holy Ghost boot camp and officer's training school. Everybody does. God does not give you a pill to take and say, poof, it's done. You made it. Nobody's made it till we hear him say, enter in, my good and faithful servant. In this, we must avoid friends, so-called, that are not models of Christ's character. Who you hang around with is who you become. Are you listening? The Bible tells us bad habits I mean, bad company corrupts good habits. 